Okay, so what is this? What are we talking about? Hi. Hi, how you're, are you? You're back here. Hi, I'm back. I'm great. I just thought that I would make a video since Christine is here. Mm -hmm. We're not drinking any coffee. No, it's too late. It's too late for coffee. Yeah. It's 11.47 on a Saturday night. And instead of partying, we're here. Oh, we kind of we kind of we went to Porno Bar in Oakland, which is a Korean street food bar yeah. place. It's my favorite restaurant. In it's Oakland. good. It's pretty good. Yeah. What'd you have? The... I had a bibimbap, but it's tofu, and I thought it was gonna be vegan, but it wasn't vegan, so that's fine. Christine's vegan now. I'm not vegan. I just I'm trying. Christine's trying to be vegan now. Yeah. Um, There's nothing wrong with that. No. No. Is your mom Vietnamese? Uh huh. Yeah. So, Vietnamese food is fucking. Yeah, good. so it's really hard. To and full of meat. No, I mean, there's a lot of veggies that you can pick around. That's true. But I feel like aren't a lot of the bait, like the lot. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I feel like a lot of the stocks are yeah, like bone. Yeah, bone, yeah. Bone marrow, that kind of thing. I think we're both a little buzzed. We drank an entire humongous bottle Hype. of Hype. Yeah. Hype beer. It's a light beer, though, so it should be fun. It's just whenever I drink, I get really sleepy. Are you sleepy? A little bit, yeah. A lot of it, yeah. But, but anyway. anyway, so you're going traveling. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. First, so a lot of my followers, or subscribers, sorry, on YouTube, you guys have come here because Christine had a video about me and she shouted me out a couple times and thank you by the way. So you're familiar with her but for the people who are not familiar with you, who don't know who you are, uh -huh. who are you? My name's Christine, uh, I live in LA and I make YouTube videos, mostly like beauty related stuff but then I, would, I also do chats with people too. She does, I've been there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'd say it's like a lifestyle beauty channel? Yeah, lifestyle. Have you ever heard of Glossier? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're asking me, like, seriously. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Christine's channel is really cool. You should watch it if you haven't already. We became friends because of your, your camera addiction. Yep. I think because you had a camera in an Instagram story, and I was like, I have that camera. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's how we became friends. And then, yeah, we did a video where I talked about my cameras. Yeah. The people you hear talking out there is my roommate and our good friend, Eric Bartz. Eric is moving to New York very soon, and so they're here hanging out and reminiscing of the old days. I think we're talking about a band that they used to be in together. Brant and I were in a band together. I was in Halcyon Air very briefly, and I pulled on the guitar. But anyway, we're not talking about that. Tonight, we're talking about you are traveling soon. Yeah, I've been traveling for a while. Yeah, I know, but you're going somewhere cool. I'm gonna, um, so my sisters and I plan a trip to the south, so we're going to Savannah, Georgia, and Charleston, South Carolina. Which is an interesting, those are interesting places to go, because those are very specific places in the south. Yeah. Um, why did you pick those two places? I didn't pick those places, my sister landed and okay. she wanted to go there. Did she have any specific reasoning for South Carolina and Georgia? No. Really? I don't think so. I think okay. She was, oh, you know what? She's like really into Anthony Bourdain, as we all are. So uh, I guess he went to Savannah. No, no, I'm sorry. He went to Charleston for uh, one of his episodes. And there was a lot of really good food, so my sister wanted to hit that up. Okay. Uh, so I'm down. I mean, I'm down to go anywhere. I want to hit. I want to cross off 50, all 50 states. That's a good so, goal. Yeah. I can give you some tips about the South because I've been there a bunch of times with my old band. Everyone in the south, most people in the south are super nice, a lot of hospitality. Mm -hmm. uh, in Georgia, mm -hmm. if you come across like a house or like somewhere in the suburbs that looks like a house but they have like a walk-up window with like a me menu on it, that's a restaurant, like a walk-up restaurant. They have those. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the story with those are, but literally I have never had better food in my life. Like At a walk-up house? Just like this, you can go anywhere in the south that's like not a chain restaurant and get like comfort food and it's literally the best food you'll ever eat. That's like our, our street, no, 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 no. In LA, it's like truck food. Kinda, but it's better. It's like these big plates of like collard greens, chicken or ribs or whatever, macaroni, fried okra, mm -hmm. cornbread, everything you can imagine on a huge plate. And it's like five, but it's cheap. And it's so good. So basically, if you, if you want to get fat, yeah. If you want to get fat, 
go to um, go to Georgia. South Carolina, I've only been there a couple times, and I don't think I was there long enough to really soak up the anything. The food? Or anything. Yeah, I, the thing is, like, what, what can I eat as a vegetarian slash vegan? Um, anything that's not meat like meat. Probably anything, right? Okra, maybe? You could eat the fried okra. Well, it's probably fried in the same oil as... The elder... Yeah, I'm not like a strict vegetarian vegan, so if it's fried or cooked in the same situation, I'm not there yet. So, that's the thing, because if there's like the vegans who are trying, you know, like if they end up biting into like a hot dog or like something that has meat in it, it's like a slap on the wrist, you know? But then they won't a waste food. Dog. Not a hot dog, but you know, like, like mm, this <laughs> meat? <laughs> but you know, it's like it's a, it's like a slap on the wrist. You'll do better next time. You know, it's like vegans who are trying, which I, I feel like I relate to better because I'm not gonna be wasteful. So like, if I happen to bite into something that has like milk in it, I'm not gonna throw it away. You know? Right. And do then, you? Is there like a society, like a like an order, like a fraternity for vegans, like that you get official punishments for eating meat? Or is it just like your own personal? Punish, it's a, a personal thing. Okay. Like I don't know. I don't. I'm not vegan. I don't know what this feels like. They're very organized. I'm sometimes. not vegan, and I'm not like a definitely not like a holier than thou vegan. Either. I'm not gonna preach to anyone. I'm not gonna tell people. I feel like so, there's you know? there's both for everything. There's like the holier than thou vegans that, you know, the joke like how can you tell if someone's a vegan? Don't Wait, worry, so they'll tell you. Yeah, they'll yeah. tell you. But there's the same for people who are not vegan, who if they ever hear that someone's a vegan, they go on and on forever about how being vegan is stupid or how Why vegans are annoying. Well, that's I because- I guess that like, it can be annoying because just, just like anything, like if people are too holier than that about camera equipment, you know? Interesting, interesting. Yeah, but you're not holier, like you're not like, oh, that's not the best lens, you know? I mean, I will tell you if a lens sucks. Yeah, but you're not gonna like judge someone, would you? No. Yeah. Because why? What's the point of that? Yeah, there is no point. Yeah. Making people feel bad about their choices. Yeah, that's stupid. Is is really it's pointless. It doesn't make them want to join your side. Yeah. And it just makes you out to be a dickhead. Yeah. Just don't be a dickhead. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. It's just everyone's trying. Everyone's trying to live their life. There's no fun in here. There's no film in here. Thank God. But I just wanted to make you guys hear the sound of this shutter. So this is my Pentax 6.7. Mm -hmm. This is my medium format baby. Uh, you saw this last time you were down here. Yeah. I took some pictures of you with it. I've been shooting a lot more with this and it's really great. I think you should get one. I'm not that, see, like, even with camera equipment, even though I love cameras, I'm not like a whole, like, I don't But listen to that shutter. It's so it's satisfying. So this is, well, the reason why I think you should get this is because you already know how to take 35 millimeter pictures. Like, I've already seen you shoot film, and you know what you're doing. You're not a total dumb dumb. Yeah, but I really don't know. I actually don't know much about it. Well, here's the thing. This camera's pretty much just an oversized 35 millimeter camera. Mm -hmm. Like, it even looks like a 35 millimeter camera. But isn't just developing really it going to be so expensive? Nope. It's not any more expensive than 35 millimeter film because it uses the same process. It's just a bigger film negative. It's a bigger film negative, but the film isn't longer. So this is a six by seven. So you only have like 10 shots? 12 shots. 12 shots. Or no, actually, sorry, 10 shots. You're right. So this only gets 10 shots on a roll of 120. The, the process isn't any different. It's the same. So you could do this and enjoy it. I think you should try this out. Mm -hmm. You should get one. They're inexpensive. I don't know. I, so like the last time, well not the last time, but the last time. Well, the last meat came down to LA. Mm -hmm. I got rid of all my cameras. I gave them all to me. They're all still there. They're right there. Yeah, but the thing is, I I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I've gotten more cameras since I've seen you last. I year. know. I mean, I'm looking around. And I see at least three. Well, plain sight. This this Rolly Flex uh, belongs to a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Jordan. He's in a band called Reptoid. He's actually on tour right now. It's really great for for portraits. It's six by six, so it's a one by one frame so it's perfect for like Instagram and stuff. Uh, this gets 12 frames on a roll of 120. Mm. Cool camera. But that's a new one that I got. I have another 